Hey, what's up, guys? Look around me. It's amazing. Several months ago, I was on a walk and found my crib tree. I approached the tree, murdered it, left it to cure in my wood shop, and have begun working it into a crib for my upcoming child. Ron Swanson, you cannot use this crib. You're ignoring every known crib safety standard. It's all covered in the parenting book I'm reading. Are you going to crawl my way by Lenny Kravitz? My crib will be safe because I'm building it with my own two hands. I bought my crib in Bloomington, and I am confident that it is literally the safest crib in the explored universe. Let me take you there, and you can talk to the salesperson. Counter offer. You take me nowhere, and I talk to no one. Counter counter offer. You come with me, or I make you attend a four hour fax cover sheet protocol meeting. Either way, it's a win for me. Anne found this place. It's where we bought our Sounds of Nature machine. You bought a machine that replicates an open window. Fraser! Chris Traeger, do you remember me? I came in here looking for the Vanna White book on child care. I'd like to solve the puzzle of parenting. Could you show my friend Ron that amazing crib that you sold me? The baby love, little sweetheart, safe forever and ever model? Oh yeah, that thing is a death trap. I'm sorry? Just found out this morning it's being recalled. They found maxi silofentabol in the glue. Is that good? It sounds bad. It burned off my fingernails. I'll be in the car. Ron, I want to do things the Swanson way. Wonderful. First rule, no conversation lasts longer than 100 total words. You have used nine, I have used 20. Continue. Fun. I'd like you to teach me to build a crib. Why do you need to build your own crib? Because I no longer trust anything other than my own two hands. It is debilitating, but exciting. Okay, we'll go to my wood shop at lunch. Wonderful. Look at us, both standing on the cusp of fatherhood. I know we haven't spent a lot of time together, but I hope- 100. Thank you for the woodworking lesson, Ron. This whole crib recall thing has got me literally rethinking everything I thought I knew about parenting. What sleep method will you be using? Ferber? Sears? Swanson method, where you close your eyes and fall asleep. I really wish Ron would engage, but he exudes so much wisdom that I can learn parenting tips simply by being in his presence. Someone like Ron is teaching even when they're not teaching. Does that make sense? My anxiety has kept me up for over 50 hours. <laughs> if a joint is properly fashioned, all you need to do is guide it into place. All you need to do is guide it into place. What I get from that is when parenting, sometimes a subtle hand is more effective than a strong one. <laughs> this is already so much more helpful than the last book on parenting I read, Rad Dads, by Apollo Anton Ono and Sean White. Uh. Ron. Why did you throw that wood away? It's unstable, it's no good. I just don't understand the throwing away the wood metaphor. What's the lesson? Oh, I know, <laughs> it's potty training. That trash can is the toilet and the wood was the feces. Chris, I'm not teaching you anything, we're just building a crib. No, I know you're not consciously teaching me anything. I'm just trying to siphon off some of your calm, centered wisdom through metaphors. Metaphors? I hate metaphors. That's why my favorite book is Moby Dick. No frou-frou symbolism, just a good simple tale about a man who hates an animal. That's enough for today, I think. An organized child no. is a... Ron, what's this? The crib I built, I'm giving it to you and Anne. It's perfectly safe, I tested it by hitting it with my truck. Well, Ron, I can't accept. This is for your baby. Well, there's more than one crib tree in a forest. That's not a lesson, by the way, just a comment on lumber availability. It's beautiful, thank you. Nobody has all the right answers in parenting, including me. And that toxic crib you bought won't be the last mistake you make. But a man who is this worried about making all the right choices cares very much. That's all that matters. You'll be a great father. Thank you, Ron for the crib and the advice. It's much better than any metaphor. Does the white whale actually symbolize the unknowability and meaninglessness of human existence? <laughs> no, it's just a fish.